Hey guys, Alex Molik here. Today's topic is a very trendy one. You've probably heard and read about it countless times, considering this topic transcends the automotive sphere itself. Of course, I'm talking about electrification. More specifically, electric cars. When it comes to purists having reservations, electric cars come right after automatic gearboxes. But then again, complaining is a very French thing to do. We are very good at it. No contest. Hence, I thought I'd spin it around and say, hey, Let's be optimistic. And to do that, I partnered with BASF, a company who's aiming to make batteries more efficient. Their goal is ambitious, yet quite simple. Making everyone's life better. First things first, you should know that it's only with the development of generators and batteries that electricity truly became useful, practical and exploitable. As crazy as this might sound today, did you know that back in the 19th century, the automotive industry actually hesitated between electric energy and fossil fuels. Now here we are, it's 2018, and electric cars clearly haven't said their last word. So let's go, let's talk about electric cars through the prism of positivity. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you from a mile away. That's strange, coming from a guy crazy about supercars. Well, not exactly. Even if supercars with combustion engines don't seem to have a lot in common with electric cars on paper, they're actually two very similar worlds. And these two worlds are meant to help each other and coexist. I know you've been paying attention, so this is not news to you, but we've been, for the past few years, at a turning point for our civilization. As far as four-wheeled machines are concerned, the shift to electric cars isn't exclusively the result of a single visionary businessman anymore. Hey, Mr. Musk! but the whole automotive industry. Nowadays, every key actor is involved. The scientists, the car makers, and obviously the customers like you and I. Frankly, if I'm being honest, I believe electric cars are still stammering, and the best is yet to come. And, as with every big change in society, it doesn't happen overnight. Which is actually a good thing, as it gives more time for people to adapt to change progressively. Even the worldwide phenomenon that we now know as the internet didn't happen in the blink of an eye. Why did the electric path take such proportions as to become essential today? Well, when you think about it, it is one of the solutions to our multiple problems. Global warming, ever-increasing pollution and health risks, persistent city fogs. Our world is clearly not perfect. Pointing it out is a first step. But I'm left wondering how many of us are actually doing something to act upon it and try to solve our problems. Yeah, sure, everyone wants cleaner air, this and that. But how many are really willing to go all in and make change happen? Ever since the beginning of the 20th century, electricity has shaped our way of life and helped us enter the modern age. Think about fridges and the video games we like so much. With this in mind, scientific research is paramount to answering some of the issues raised by electric cars today. One of the major concerns is battery efficiency. Luckily, the BASF scientists are working on it. Their countless innovations through chemistry are helping us move forward towards a cleaner future. In tangible terms, this means improving the autonomy of electric batteries. Thanks to BASF research, the average range of an electric battery jumps from 300 kilometers to 600 kilometers. Yeah, it's doubling. Furthermore, their size and cost of production are being cut in hell. Now this is far from random news. Factually, this means battery efficiency will at least be doubled in the short term. Also, the charging times will be drastically reduced. Even if this does not convince you to buy an electric car tomorrow or even next year, I'd like to believe at least the BASF innovations allows everyone to be optimistic about what's next. Instead of picking their noses, some people are actually working hard on making things move forward towards the right direction. And believe me when I tell you, they're doing a great job and they will succeed. I mean, we live in a world where science is everywhere. Computers, smartphones, quantum mechanics. Too far. Just a quick reminder, the first mobile phones looked like that. And now, this is what they look like. Worlds apart. What most people seem to have forgotten though, is that between these two phones, there are years and years of research that have allowed major technological leaps. Well, it's pretty much the same with electric cars. As I've said before, we are at a turning point for our society. And to be honest, all this progress and constant innovations tend to give me faith in what's to come. Think of mobility for a second. Look at 
public transportation. With sustainability in mind, more and more buses in my city, Paris, are taking the electric way. Shared transportation is a key element in our common future. More and more people are bound to use public transport. Well, might as well use cleaner methods, right? Now look at car manufacturers. Tesla is not alone in the game, far from it. Most car makers have already set in motion strategies, including more and more electric and hybrid vehicles. As an example, the Volkswagen Group is planning to reveal one new electric vehicle every month by 2022. Well, guess what? Their moves are not innocuous. There are many reasons behind such deep mutations. First of all, there are environmental stakes. Indeed, one of the main benefits of electric vehicles is to help reduce the impact of fossil fuels. As more and more people have access to personal cars, might as well drive clean. Think of all the health and respiratory problems we might avoid in the long run. I mean, sure, I'm biased, I have asthma. It's hard for me not to cheer for cleaner air. It's all about having a new mindset in the hopes of achieving a better and less polluted air. Second of all, there's a real demand motivating those decisions. Yes, more and more people people understand that changing their habits can help change the world. Global change always starts with a bunch of individual small steps. Also, driving an electric car means less running costs. Better yet, some countries, like France, actually encourage you to go electric with buyer's premium and other systems. Also, insurances are theoretically less expensive, I might add. It seems your wallet might thank you after all. One thing is for sure, we have to stop thinking electric cars will kill the automobile. That's just silly. For starters, you can easily start an electric car with very cold temperatures outside. The driving itself is more fluid, far simpler. I'm thinking about older or disabled people here. And, just like with an automatic gearbox, there is zero risk of stalling the car. It happens. Electric cars are not going to take away our driving experience or driving pleasure. The latter will evolve, maybe even bring us new sensations. Have you ever had the opportunity of testing an electric car? Or better yet, an electric supercar like Remac? Trust me, it's no child's play. The full power of torque is instantly available as soon as you floor it. Okay. <laughs> what? That was uh, 2.6 to 100. <laughs> wow! This makes up for some very intense accelerations. Look at Formula E, for example, a new sport that coexists with Formula One. Sure, there's the sound, the sound. Obviously, it's different. Unless you're driving electric supercars, it's fairly silent. But then again, this opens up the doors for new opportunities. Considering electric cars are fairly silent, it's hard to hear them coming. But manufacturers will be obliged to make their electric cars louder, mostly for pedestrians. Apparently, Nissan is trying to make their cars sing, whereas Mercedes-Benz is trying to work with the group Linkin Park on developing an artificial sound for their cars. I mean, come on, that's pretty amazing. I believe we'll be seeing a lot of creative and original solutions come to fruition. You might find that silly, it's your right after all, but we might as well leave this electric transition in good spirit, right? To end this video, I firmly believe the turn towards electrification is on the right path. My first electric car experience was with Remac back in August 2016 and I was baffled. I believe our civilization is changing and is becoming more eco-friendly as the years go by. It does not mean going vegan and using candlelights. Car manufacturers will always be competing and there will always be new car models to nurture our dreams. On the long term, everything leads me to believe we're going full electric. But as I said before, it will happen progressively, step by step. Sure, electric cars aren't perfect and they might still raise a few doubts, but to be honest, this only leaves room for improvement. Scientific progress and innovations are positively answering the concerns raised by our modern issues. Last but not least, I'd like to thank BASF for contributing in the production of this video. It was a very interesting topic, there were so many things to say, I could have gone on and on for hours. As for myself, I leave you with these wise words that now more than ever make a lot of sense. We might not have the same car, but we share the same passion. On this note, I bid you farewell. See you guys, I'm out of here.